Hey babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha, if you're new here, and if you are new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe for more videos for me. This is the official intro, I just curled my hair, and I, I thought it was gonna be like a nice little clip to, <laughs> to put into this video, because today we are gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine. I have my mirror right behind you guys, so if I'm like looking this way, it's because I need to be able to see myself. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So today we're gonna do my everyday makeup routine. I filmed one of these like two months ago. We're just gonna have to scrap her because I did not like it. Follow me on TikTok. You probably have seen this makeup look because like it's my standard go-to makeup, and I might like add a different, a few different new products. But I kind of do the same thing every single time. Too natural, every day, no makeup, makeup for me. Cause I don't wear makeup every day. But when I do put makeup on, I will like take off like the more natural look. Yeah. Elf Power Grip Primer for the longest time. I love this primer. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It does everything that needs to do. I love this primer. I want to try the Milk Primer, but a lot of people compare the two. I haven't been wearing foundation for every day. Like I don't really feel the need to put foundation on my face unless I'm trying to do like full beat. We always do lip balm before makeup because I can't be having crusty lips. I'm just using what we're gonna do. So I have a variety of concealers that I like using. Recently I've been using my Kosa. Even if I do do my makeup and I do want like more of a coverage, I'll use the Fenty Beauty ease drops this is just a blurring skin tint is and it's in the shade 20 and then i use a kosa concealer and this is in the shade a2w and i use this concealer under my eyes i like this concealer i wouldn't say it's like super full coverage but it is a really good concealer yeah i just do all of my highlight points i've been using this brush from morphe i like i just bought a makeup brush set but i just use whatever works for me and so like just doing concealer does what needs to be done for me it depends on my mood on what i use to set my face i do want to try a new setting powder i really want to try lauren and i can't remember but i do have the nyx professional mineral finishing loose powder and then i also have the hd nyx powder which the lid popped out of it i tend to lean more towards this one because it's translucent and i don't really need a lot to set with and i feel like it just works the best and it's the easiest one of these truly i think almost everyone uses i got a pack from amazon i will try to remember to link it down below if you want to get some girl do that and then i go in with a bigger brush just to make sure that i get all of it nicely blended and coated off my face this big brush is from elf i've had it for forever and i love how big and fluffy it is i don't really do my makeup in a certain routine i try to but then i always end up forgetting what i'm doing down there so this is the halo glow beauty wand contour by elf this is probably one of the darkest shades to find in a contour for my skin tone isn't super expensive one and actually like does what it's supposed to do shout out to elf they really came through with this i just do it in the place that you're supposed to contour i do three little dots and then i do my forehead and then i just take a brush and go in like this to get my nose my nose is a very tricky spot for me because I don't know how to, I don't know what contour will look best for my nose. So I'm kind of just trying to figure it out. This is what I've been doing and this is what has been working. So go in with this brush from e.l.f. It's literally like the contour brush. It has like a little angle and I just use that to blend. I always just go in with my fingers to do my nose because I, I feel like the heat helps blend it out more. I think it blends out the best with my fingers. Um, I go in and I like set it a little bit and it's just the Juvia's Place contour in deep dark and I go in with and try to set it just a little bit so I don't want to be like you know that's that. They are nice and contoured and bronzed. Benefit Precise My Brow Brow Pencil. I also have the Anastasia one but I haven't tried that one yet. We will be trying her soon. I've also been growing out my eyebrows because I just want thicker brows. I don't know where this insecurity stemmed from with having thin brows. That's been a thing with me for forever. And I honestly just fill in the front pieces, the back, but for the most part, I just keep my natural brow shape and do whatever it tells me to do. And then I comb it up and through to see any places that I might need to fill in more. I wouldn't say your brows are your most important makeup, but they kind of are. I'm going to go in with the NYX the Brow Gel. The Brow Glue. This is we're just going to get our brows. I don't like to use too much because I don't want my brows to be stiff, but I want them to stay in place. So, blush is my favorite part 
of makeup okay me and blush we go together roll that i like to use i've been really liking the real beauty blush and grateful i really like the red in this one but i also do like the love brush which is kind of more muted last time i did makeup i mixed both of these inexpensive blush that i really love is the elf pouty blush and it's in the shade caribbean deep plum shade that i feel like goes really well with my skin tone but it's just hard to get out sometimes when i have like longer nails because i have to like rub my fingers and we might do this red i do want to do this one today wait you see what i'm saying it's like it's kind of hard to get out but it is really pigmented and we go up a little bit to our cheekbones that's what I do. I'm going to go in with my blush brush. This is also from Ricky. I don't know if this is actually a blush brush or not, but this is what I use for my blush. And if it's really pigmented, I'll go in with a beauty blender and blend it out. Like, the real beauty ones are extremely pigmented. So, I always kind of have to go in with a beauty blender to blend it out. So, the brush just sometimes does not do the job that needs to be done. And to find the blush, I will go in with the... Where is she at? Javi's Place Brush Blush and this is volume one. I love the orangey and pink tones. I'll mix them a little bit and like I said, me and blush were a love story. I just feel like blush just elevates your makeup and makes anybody look just really cute. I think I think blush is like one of the cutest makeup items. Sometimes I'll go in with brown liner and do like a little wing sometimes i'll just do mascara sometimes i'll go in with eyeshadow on the lid the curls that have conquered being able to do their wing every day and have them look good every day y'all are some of vision so i'm using the same bronzer palette and i'm just gonna go in with it's gonna go in with this brown shade and my crease and that's all we're gonna do for the lid and the brown really does blend in with my skin tone so i just feel like it just blends out perfectly we're going to curl our lashes and do mascara now I use this elf curler. I don't eat about my eyelash curler. It's supposed to be like super good. My natural eyelashes naturally curl and I do one eye at a time. I don't want them to dry while I'm doing them. So I use the Essence Lash Princess in the False Lash Effect Mascara. I love this mascara and I use this one first because it just helps lengthen the lashes. When I'm putting on mascara, I tend to blink into the wand so that it gets fully coated. I have not mastered being able to put mascara on without getting it on my lid. Then the second mascara that I go in with is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This mascara reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara by Benefit. This is it. I used to use the Better Than Sex one all the time, but I feel like I can get the same result kind of with this one. Then what's the point? Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Nicely coated. So, and then I'm going to go in with the Lost Princess and do my lower lash. I do like one quick swipe. Nothing major. Now we're going to have to wait for these to dry so I can clean them up. Not the Elf. The Moat Makeup Highlighter in Sparkle. And the Fenty Pink Highlighter Ginger Binge in Moscow Meal. For the pink shades that it has in it. I'm going to use a little bit of the Milf Makeup. This is just a really pretty golden shade. Love. It's so cute. It just does what it needs to do. Just a little bit of highlight. Not too much. Melts into the skin. I don't really like a lot of highlight because I kind of want to look like natural. My face but better, and that's what it does. <sighs> We're just gonna learn our lips. Most of the time, I like keeping my natural lip color or do a brown, a gloss. Okay. And this is the lip liner in, this is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade in chocolate. And I'm just going to blend this out on my lip. Put under a gloss, a brown. I love doing the Summer Fridays Lip Balm in the shade, I think this is the Brow Sugar. So we're going to take off the mascara on my lid. And then we're going to set our face and we're going to be done. I just did a Q-tip to get it off because it just like comes right off. And it really doesn't mess up your makeup. I just started thinking about Johnny and Shannon from Biden 13 and Kimmy 13 and started smiling. What a life. What a life. Love books. Love their life. Okay. So setting spray. I get Morphe. I've been using a Morphe setting spray forever. The continuous spray. Love that setting spray. Also have the one size setting spray. Love the setting spray. Like the NYX matte finishing fine mist. I think I want to use this one today. In spray. All right, so that is the end of this everyday makeup. Yeah, so this is the end of this everyday makeup routine. This is a final look. This is just what I like to do every single time I do my makeup. It is what looks the cutest to me, which I feel like it's cute. She's cute. I'll see you guys next week in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media so we can be besties and locked in for life. Bye. Have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.